Number 70 was one of the three winning Cyclopses at Le Mans. Shown is the artwork that Stan Mott drew for the Cyclops simulator. I shrunk down the monitor and ran with it. All right, let's break down some of these components here. Use my homemade pointer. Looks like we got the yellow body, the normal Cyclops color. We got number 70 on the side there, big letters. Uh, down here we got the reverse leaf springs, like a normal Cyclops. We got the whip drive system. Got slicks in the back, essentially, with spinners. And we go to the trunk lid. Trunk lid, we got air intake right here, exhaust. Got a spare tire with the brake light mounted in the center. And then we've got the uh, exhaust pipe. You notice we got the air damp suitcase in the stowed position from the Le Mans race. Air intake on the side right in the uh, 70 number. It's like bullet type rear view mirrors. But I guess with this we got essentially two views but we still need a little bit more, so we'll go to some other artwork and see if we can define a little bit more. More artwork we'll get from the Road and Track August 1960 article, Le Mans Race. Two more stands artwork from the Le Mans Race. I'll work on this one first. We've got the larger headlight, then the extra lights here. They're sitting kind of in a lower position, and they have a screen in front of it. Now we get a little bit here on the right side, and we notice we do have another bullet rear view mirror, but also on the right side we've got the gas filler port. Now on this one, we notice we have the air dampening suitcase in the up position. Of course, we're going to have ours in the stowed. Shows a little bit more on the front extra headlights here with our large big one in, in the front. This drawing also gets defined. We get to see a little bit of the door handles. Kind of the shape of those. Since the artwork does not show the interior and my Silver Cyclops is close to the original, I'm going to try to duplicate what's inside. I've got two, two pedals in this one, and then the steering wheel itself sits about 10 degree angle, so try to get it in the same location there. Seat wise, this is the Cyclops shape of the seat, normal seat there, which is, contours the rear, I guess you'd say. Even though the Cyclops is only 48 inches long and 38 inches wide, 38 inches can still not fit through a doorway, so I decided to make it in three pieces. It's almost like making a full-scale model. Software hasn't been developed yet, but uh, I don't know, it's a Cyclops challenge. I always like a Cyclops challenge. This is what I ended up with. Suitcase, got the rear section, whip drive system, slicks there with the spinners, along on the opposite side, of course we got the 70, rear mirrors, gas filler, In the back, I didn't go to the expenses, but the cardboard box is for the PC, the gaming PC. Got 
roll, rolled edges and stuff so you don't get cut on any of the interior part here. Put a normal door handle because I know it's going to be getting in and out a lot. Seat wise, of course, duplicated. Duplicated the uh, normal Cyclops seat. Two pedals. I got the uh, Logitech steering wheel in here. And came with three pedals, but Cyclops only has two. And I tried to mount this at the same angle you would have in a normal Cyclops. So, when I get in, just like getting in a normal Cyclops. Got the feel. I mean, they're just like in my silver Cyclops or the other ones. Except this is the simulator. Front, I made a little tripod stand for a monitor. Now, right now, this is just my cardboard monitor. I didn't go to the expenses of purchasing one yet. That gives you an idea. Adjusting for height, and also you can get closer. That kind of locks it in to keep it stable. And then you can adjust the height in the back, just like a normal monitor. And that's it. End up with a little comparison.